Check out this video to learn 10 really useful expressions you can use at the dinner table. Let's eat. Hi, I'm Steve, and this is Single Step English. Welcome to our video for the top 10 English phrases that people use at the dinner table. Whether you're a native speaker or learning English, these are great phrases to know when you're sitting down for a meal. Number 10. Let's dig in. This phrase is used to encourage everyone to start eating. For example, let's dig in. The food looks great. Please remember that this is a conversational expression. Let's dig in. A more polite version would be, shall we start? Or, shall we eat? Some people like to say a prayer before they start eating. In that case, someone may ask, shall we say grace? Or, shall we say a prayer? After the prayer, the leader of the family will often say, let's eat. Number nine, please pass the. This can be used when you want someone to pass a specific item. For example, please pass the salt or please pass the pepper. The pepper? Yeah, sure. Here you are. A slightly more polite way to ask this could be, could you please pass the? For example, could you please pass the bread? Could you please pass the butter? Number eight, how is your meal? This phrase is used to ask about your satisfaction with the meal. For example, how is your meal, Steve? You may also hear someone ask, how is everything? That means, do you like your meal? Is everything okay? How is everything? You can answer by saying, everything is great, or everything is delicious. Number seven, could I have some more, or can I have some more? This phrase is used when you want to ask for more of a specific food item. Could I have some more potatoes, please? Could I have some more bread, please? Could I have some more rice, please? Number six, would you like some? This phrase is used to offer someone some of a specific food item. For example, would you like some salad, Steve? Yes, thank you. I love salad. Number five, this is delicious. This phrase is used to show enjoyment of the food. For example, this steak is delicious. This chicken is delicious. This is a common answer for number eight. How is everything? Oh, this is delicious. Or you could say this meal is delicious. Number four, can I get you anything to drink? If you only drink water with your food, you can answer by saying, mm, just water is fine, thank you. If you would like to request a specific drink, you can ask by saying, would you happen to have any in the name of that drink? For example, would you happen to have any soda? Would you happen to have any fruit juice? Uh, for those that like alcohol, you can ask, would you happen to have any beer? Would you happen to have any wine? Another version of would you happen to have, people will ask, do you happen to have? Do you happen to have any soda? Do you happen to have any juice? Hey guys, what do you like to drink with your meals? I'd really love to hear about it. Tell me about it in the comment section below. Number three, sorry, I'm full. This phrase is used when you have no more space to eat more food. Your stomach is completely full. So you would say, sorry, I'm full. So if someone asks you at the dinner table, would you like some more? Sorry, I'm full. I couldn't possibly eat another bite. And that's a nice way of saying I'm full. If the meal was delicious. Number two, did you leave room for dessert? This question is asked to see if the person dining has any room or space in their stomach to eat dessert. Did you leave room for dessert? 
If you are full, you can answer by saying number five, sorry, I'm full, or no thanks, I'm full. If you would like dessert, you can answer by saying, I may have a little room for dessert. In my case, I always have a little room for some dessert. Tonight, we have a chocolate pudding for dessert. Mmm, this is excellent. Number one, thank you for the meal. This phrase is used to express gratitude or thanks for the person who prepared and served the meal. Thank you for the meal. This is an easy expression you can practice every day. If your mother is kind and serves you meals every day, you can say, thank you for the meal, mom. Or maybe somebody else prepares you the meal, your sister or brother or your father. You can say, thank you for the meal, dad. Thank you for the meal, sis, shortened form for sister. It's important to note that at the dinner table, it's not only about the food and phrases, it's also about manners. It's always good to include the words please when you're making a request and the word thank you when you're showing appreciation. If you need to leave the dinner table while other people are eating, it is polite to use the expression excuse me or pardon me. One more thing. It is considered good etiquette or good manners to not start eating until everyone has sat down and been served their meal. Then you can start eating. In conclusion, knowing the top 10 English phrases that people use at the dinner table will really help improve your communication skills. It will also help you feel more confident using English in social settings where meals are served. Lastly, it's a great way to show respect and good manners for the people you're eating with. I hope you'll be able to use these phrases to sound more natural speaking English. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button below. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. This dessert is very delicious. This dolce is fantastic.